to sew a scant quarter inch seam allowance. And why would you need to sew a, a scant, <laughs> a scant quarter inch seam allowance? Well, let's start with the how, let's start with the whys first. Why would you need to sew a scant when we've always been taught to sew with a quarter inch? It deals with the type of fabric that you're working with or maybe the thread. So let's talk about the thread first. So we have different weights with our thread. Most of us sew with a 50 weight. Pretty much most of us sew with a 50 weight and a cotton thread. We love the way it looks and feels. So some of our threads are thicker than others. So that's something you want to consider. Now here is a 50 weight. It's a cotton that I sew with all the time. So I'm going to lay that one on here and then I'm going to lay this one. Now this one is green. I know you can see it in my hand, but it is, it is thicker than the white thread. So that can actually take up what you need for your seam allowance when you use a slightly thicker thread. So what I want you to think about next is the type of fabric you're using. If you're sewing with a batik, then a 50 weight thread, it's really thin, is very strong, will be perfect because batiks press really flat. But there's the traditional cottons that are thicker. You can just tell by picking them up and holding them. Some of them are not as thick as others, but then there are some that you can just feel. It's in the body of the fabric. It's like, oh, this feels nice and cuddly and soft. And then there's some that are, say, a little thinner to the touch. And hmm, well, needless to say, they're not as thick. It's all in the type of the weave that they use. So how do we decide how to use a scant quarter inch seam allowance? Let me grab some little scraps over here. When you're sewing with a fabric, when you press it, so sew a, um, get a little sample to sew, get a little piece of that fabric that you want to work with. And what I want you to do is sew two pieces together with a 50 weight thread. And if this fabric is thick that you're going to sew with, once you go to press it, compare how it folds and presses. Does it fold as flat as a batik will, or does it have a little bit of a a thick layer when it when you press it into the correct in the right direction from the top side because that tells me if it folds or presses thick then I need to use a scant because I want everything to line up especially when you're sewing triangles and things can show up so how do you find that scant quarter inch seam allowance Well, first of all, let's find the perfect quarter inch seam. And all I do is I grab my rulers, grab a post-it note, just so that I can keep everything lined up. Now I'm gonna put my needle in the very center position to start out with. And I'm going to put it under, I'm gonna take my ruler and put it directly under the presser foot. So that when I lower the presser foot, it's holding the ruler in place. Now the next thing I want to do is when I manually lower the needle down, it aligns perfectly with the quarter inch. In order to, to, to take an account for that thick fabric, I want to move the needle over one position to the right or two, depending on your machine. So I'm going to move mine over one position by touching the arrow button. There we go. So now it, it is one position over or passed to the right of the center. Put that right there. There, hold those in place. All right, so now 
Now this is only one thread over basically, or one position over. All right, so we're gonna stop in the center. I'm gonna cut the thread. Now I'm gonna take my ruler again, and you can see my black line. Now what I'm doing is I'm lining the ruler up with the edge of my fabric, and my seam line is one, like one thread away from the quarter inch line. So now I'm gonna move my needle over one more position and see what happens. So it really depends on your machine as to how far over you need to move that, um, the needle over. Like right now, because I moved it over two spots, that might be too much. It might be too less of a, a scant. Too narrow is what I'm trying to say. Okay, let's do it again. <laughs> Watch it, it didn't move over enough. <laughs> ah, hold still. Okay. So, right here, I think for my machine, I need to move it over two positions so that when I press this, see how thick the fold is right along here where I'm pressing it? That is what I'm basing how far over I need to move that ruler over because actually I need to move the needle over because that will give us the seam allowance that we need. And when you, when you press that fabric over, it's that fold that comes over that takes up that tiny bit of fabric that you need to make it the right size. So if I need to make this this little four patch, four and a half inches before I sew it to something else, the unfinished size. Let's see if I can get it to behave. There we go. And it's supposed to be at four and a half, and it is. So that is the scant quarter inch. I should use the scant quarter inch when I am working with this cotton fabric because it will allow my unit to be the correct size before I sew it to the next one. If not, you're gonna be trimming a lot, you're gonna have a lot of unevenness. So always test it out before you start working on your project. Take, the, um, take a little piece of the fabric and do just what I did, test it out so you can decide when I give it a nice hot press, when I press that seam over, Am I taking up the amount that I need for my unit to finish at before I sew it to the next unit? If it's too small, then you need to check your seam allowance right then before you move on. So always check your seam allowance before you start completely working on your project. So I hope this tip helps you out on how to sew a scant quarter inch and why you need to sometimes. Have a wonderful day. 